Hi, this is Muhammad Ali Khan and today I will be answering the basic questions whenever you are studying networking you have to answer. Starting with the first question that is what is the difference between bridge, switch and a router. Starting with bridge, bridge are basically layer 2 device that is data link layer and they maintain MAC address stable and they are software based, the data forwarding is software based. As compared to switches there can be layer 3 device and they can also be layer 2 device and the forwarding of data is hardware based and they have multiple ports. Talking about router, router are mainly network layer device and routers are located at the gateways of the network and at least two networks are needed whenever you are using a router. Now moving to our next question that is what is a public cloud and what is a private cloud. Now Answering to a cloud, what is cloud is? Clouds are the remote servers that are located anywhere in the world in which you can store your data and maintain and do all the changes you can you want. Now public cloud is are basically the internet. The examples of public clouds are IBM, Amazon and Google. Now why I emphasize on Amazon, I will be telling you further in this video. Private clouds are owned by the companies uh, and they are quite expensive, take, uh, typically used by large enterprises. Now what is the difference between a service provider, enterprise and a uh, cloud provider. Now service provider, uh, I am a teacher and I am teaching you something, I am providing you a service, in return I am taking some money and all that is stuff and this is a service I am providing, providing you, it can be an individual, it can be a group of people and it can be an organization. Enterprise is a project or is it, it is an undertaking between two large companies and a cloud provider. The cloud computing uh, provided over the networks are known as cloud providers. Amazon is one of the major, uh, major leaders in this world. Talking about AWS service from Amazon. Now AWS service is a cloud platform offering compute power, database storage, content delivery and other functions to grow your business. Now I would like to suggest you visit this website and see what Amazon by themselves want, uh, are telling you to uh, about this, this AWS service. It is a complete solution to your networking they are providing you. Now what are transponders? Transponders are nothing just simple devices that receive video signals and automatically transmit different uh, wavelengths of signals. You can see an example of this. Uh, they are fitted on the bottom of the plane and the civil aviation authority transmit signal and they tra uh, transmit in return what uh, the signal they are having the height of the plane and all that stuff they, uh, all those information they transmit automatically. Now talking about DWDM dense wavelength division multiple axis. It is a technology that is put uh, on the optic fiber to increase the bandwidth of the, op uh, of the existing optic fiber. You can see in this diagram over here. The bandwidth is further divided and it is transmitted on the single fiber cable. It is also sometimes known as wave division multipla uh, multiplexing. Now talking about the modes, what are the different modes of fiber? There are different modes of fiber. We will be talking only about two modes. That is single mode fiber and the other is multi mode fiber. In single mode fiber we have only the light can travel only in one direction and in multi mode the light can travel in many directions. Uh, more than one directions and for short uh, data transmission we use multi mode and for longer transmission uh, when we need reliable delivery of data we use single mode fiber. Now talking about the public peering and private peering. Now when we are whenever we are talking about public peer, uh, peering it's just an exchange uh, through a journal public internet exchange point uh, is the where everyone can share the information and everyone can use the information is not secure everyone can use it and when we are talking about private peering now private peering is a direct physical connection between two networks you can see in this diagram over here the bottom one is private peering and the upper one is public peering you can uh, have a good example uh, after seeing this picture now moving towards our next question that is looking glass now looking glass are nothing, they, uh, they are just software that uh, they are used to viewing your routing information of the server. 
they, uh, you can uh, there are different website uh, you can visit those website and you can locate the routing information of your router now what is the major difference the next question is what is the major difference between ospf and isis now that is not that isis there is uh, something different uh, ospf open source spark first it is a link state routing protocol and it is uh, only used in interior gateway protocols for smaller networks and isis uh, exterior gateway protocols and it is used for large networks and it is also uh, observed link state protocols now what is igp and what is exterior gateway protocols i will be telling you further uh, further in this video now what is mpls mpls is nothing uh, just uh, the longer network addresses it uh, to avoid the longer network addresses to look up in the routing tables it just provide you the labels of shorter uh, labels uh, so you can easily visit over the network so that is the main uh, purpose of using multi protocols uh, label uh, switching now what is the difference between igp and bgp igp are the interior gateway protocols and bgp are border way gateway protocols before understanding this concept we have to have a good uh, knowledge of autonomous system what an autonomous system is an autonomous system is uh, few uh, routers connected in a particular area they create their own autonomous system and uh, to some other area they create another autonomous system now to connect the routers in one autonomous system interiorly we use igps that are they are, that are interior gateway protocols and to connect two different autonomous systems we use bjps that are border way uh, protocol and the protocol that we use are enhanced gateway protocol to connect two autonomous system we use bjps and that is uh the protocol we use is egp that is exterior gateway protocol now ne our next question is what is the difference between ioe and ioe internet of things and internet of everything many people use these terms similarly uh, simultaneously they use uh, ioe and iot but there is a major difference between these two and i will be telling you about that ioe is internet of everything it is just a master class of iot and it, this term was generated by Cisco. They are, they are the backbones of the networking industry, and uh, we are having four pillars in this: people, process, data, and the things. And in IoT, we are only having one pillar, that is things. Now, our next question is: What is tier one network, tier two network, and tier three networks? Now, talking about tier tier one networks, we have we uh, we can uh, access internet without purchasing IPs. Now talking about tier 2 networks, we have to uh, purchase some of the IPs to visit some of the portions of the internet, the else one is free. And when we are talking about tier 3 networks, we have to purchase the IP to reach the internet. And the home users, uh, the network uh, right now I am using to make this video, is I am working on tier 3 network. Now our next, uh, last question is, what is level 3 and what it does? Now before uh, to answer this question, I explain what AWS service of Amazon is providing. They are providing you complete solution over the network. Now the same service, uh, similarly, it's quite similar to uh, Amazon AWS service. They are also providing you complete solution. You just have to tell them your problem and they will be providing you every solution, the communication, the storage, the servers, uh, the platform you want to use and all that is stuff. Uh, it's a complete uh, solution and I would like to suggest you to go to visit this uh, website over here level3.com and go through this website you will have a good knowledge now that was all uh, in this video i will be uh, coming up with my next video and thanks for watching this video and i will be uh, putting on the comment on these all the answers so you have a better view of all this and thanks for watching video bye